Hey, what is up, guys? Today, we're going to be doing another journal vlog on Fair Oaks Live Oak. So, first thing I gotta tell you, again, is I got shot 37. Yes, 37, one over par on the ease, one of the easiest tees I've ever played on. So, first straight up, straight up, I gotta tell you, straight up, that I played, um, how can I explain it? I played the back nine, um, I played decently well. So, first hole, I hit, they teed us up in the rough, which completely sucked. And then we, so I hit my driver out of that rough, about over the hill. And I was at uh, 30, 30 to 45 yards from the pin. And I chipped it about six feet and made the ball. So, there, good birdie. Second hole, par three, I went flat with my um, six iron and it went into the trap right and I had a bunker shot and it was the ball was really dug in and so I had to chunk a shot out of there I barely made it on the front of green and had a 50 footer and made my bogey. I mean on in honesty I think um, once you're in that bunker with the dug hole you're probably not licking your lips on it and going, ooh, let's get up and down on this one. You're probably like, okay, let's hit a shot out and um, two putt or get up and down for your bogey. Yeah. So, um, honestly, I think that going flat is always, it's always kind of been my problem. I mean, I don't remember a couple a year where I've never ever been consistently flat honestly but we're still working on it I mean we're st I'm still going way flat but it's getting better and we I know I have to work on it with um, my coach Bradley and we have been working on it. We're trying, I'm thinking after when he sees that video, he's probably either gonna put a pool noodle up there. So until I wonk it over and over behind my back on my backswing, so I wonk it over and over until, and then I go wonk, 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 oh, go up. And that's kind of a drill. Or he's gonna, um, he's gonna do one of those drills with, uh, gonna like um with the stick we have to go up on it something like that I mean I know my coach kind of well so yeah I was going flat sometimes of the day it turned out okay I was hitting low bullets I went rolled for a long way and I mean not really many of the holes the inside went got me it was mostly on hmm Definitely on number two, and hmm, some I don't remember. I don't remember a drive that went flat that went super right or left. I mean, I kind of fixed it on the downswing, and it kind of turned out okay. A little low bullet that still went. Maybe less distance, but still. But I don't. Rem I don't think I remember a shot except for the second hole at the par three, where I s scooped it and went inside on the bunker. I don't think. Is there any? I don't. I don't think there's any drive that I actually hook or slice. No. So I timed it right that day with my flat swing. And I've been doing this new thing lately where you take um, three practice swings, uh, or two practice swings, right before you swing, you do one, cut, so help me go square. So there's one that goes slow, one back, and then one slower, 
You're just taking back like maybe two, three feet to the right of the ball. Just to help so you don't go flip it inside. You go more one. And then you do one even slower. Then you look at your target. Tell yourself in the brain, Matsuyama. Because you might have been known, the tour player Hideki Matsuyama has gone extremely slow in his backswing. So that's why I said it, because it makes it slower in the last one. And then I go slow and then take my normal swing. And that's what I did. That's what I've been doing lately with all my uh, shots. So number two, I did that. And three, I honestly, I don't know how, but I don't remember much of the round. I mean, I know I shot one over. The last hole, I did hit a driver and then a six iron, 10 feet past. And then I hit a 10 footer Rolled it just a little bit by the hole, and then I missed the putt like this far. Like that far. Like for real. For real, Matthew. Don't bust one footer. Is that you can lose a tournament like that. Like if you're like this far away, and this is to win like the Masters, and you go, this is the hole. This is the hole right here. Right here. And your ball just goes. And you're like. You know, I could have won the Masters if I just made that one footer, you know? And it's kind of sad because when you look over it, you're like, man, I really could have won that tournament if I would have done this correctly. And you would have been, I think you would have been regretful, especially if it was a big one and you lost by one stroke because you did this on this swing. So, yeah, that's today's lesson. Don't go flat. Because even if one day you do fix it, another day if you go flat, it's going to be drivers in the trees left and right and everywhere. You never know where it's going to go. So, yeah, that's today's lesson. And I had a decently well round. The course was really short. Obviously, the tees were really short. And I could have shot two, three under. I mean, my friends who are in the, my friend is an 11 year old shot two under, which I was supposed to be shooting, though I was even, and I couldn't get a putt to fall. For some reason, I couldn't get one little putt. I burnt the edge on a, on on um, most of my putts, and the only putt I made for birdie was um, on. What do you call it? On one. That was, but it was only like five feet. Oh, and also on number seven, it was a par five. I hit my driver down there on the right side. Then I hit a six iron left in the bunker. Then I hit my bunker shot out about ten feet long, and then I three putted from there. I literally had a birdie putt. I ran that by like five feet and then missed that. So you got a bogey, or you should have got a birdie. So that's literally three strokes you could have done better on that hole. And you could have, so that was one mistake. And you add up number two, that's two mistakes. And number nine, where you made missed the one footer. So that's three strokes. So what do you get? Oh, two, you got two under. So that's what? I did wrong three strokes one of them was I just aimed outside the hole the other one I was being fast and blew it by the hole I used my little hands and jabbed it and three is going flat so don't go quick on your putts one number two don't go flat number three um, crap. Um, number three, uh, don't jab it. Don't flick it. Because you never know. You might be flicked short or flicked ten feet long. That's today's lesson. If you like, this is the end of the video. If you like 
this video, leave a like and a comment below, and subscribe to Matt Polly Golf, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Damn. Ugh.